Hey everybody, Kelly Engineering here, and welcome to episode 22 of Project Dozen 3. Uh, in between episodes, I've been working with Lordcraft, and we're actually, this episode, going to be working in Lordcraft some more. Because uh, there's a lot of stuff I did not do uh, the last time I delved into it, and I want to complete that mod, uh, despite how grindy it is. So the goal this episode is going to be to go into Lordcraft and uh, complete every just complete all of the armor sets and maybe if we get to it uh, the pickaxes as well. So I need to make the void workbench to begin with and uh, I've popped a builder in the twilight forest and it has been getting me simple crystals like nobody's business. I uh, How many simple crystals do I have at this point? Yeah I have 1347. It's a lot of simple crystals. I'm gonna take four stacks of those anyway. So yeah with my four stacks and one stack of obsidian I have been using um, the dark crystals to make a bunch of the uh, a bunch of the Lordcraft stuff already. So, but I only have 13 dull crystals left. I also made these complex crystals because they're going to be the next thing required for us. So, if you look on the research page of your Lordcraft knowledge book, you'll see right here void power. In order to make the void arcane forge and the void workbench, I need to unlock this. But I can't. And nothing that I've done so far has been able to. Uh, to unlock it. It turns out that I need to do something called uh, Ascension. And the Ascension matrix, Ascension right here, is made from using all of these complex crystals. Complex crystals are really simple and that's what I was making before. All I have to do is go to an arcane forge, simple crystal, simple crystal. Choose your uh, the mana that you want to use and of course I use dark mana. Uh, remember, I am wearing the Dark Lord's armor, so it gives me a discount on uh, how much mana is required to craft things. But yeah, I was making a whole bunch of simple crystals, and with those simple crystals, correction, complex crystals, I'm going to make each of the, um, oh, I'm sorry, what? Uh, apparently, it seems I have messed up somewhere. Let's check this out. So it says in order to make it, it requires the tier 2 water research. Maybe this is the tier 2 water research? Hmm. Well, I'm going to complete ice, and maybe that's what I'm missing. So let's grab my inscription tiles. I'm going to complete ice real quick. Yeah, so I'm able to make the drenched crystal, and I'm able to make the obscure crystal. Because if you look in my research book, I have completed up to this level four is apparently means tier two. So it says I've completed that. That means that I can. Uh, that means I can actually make the complex crystal variants. So looks like I have to make more inscription tiles. <laughs> so another thing that I did between episodes, and you can kind of see this little blue thing sticking out of my head. I made the wireless crafting terminal from the wireless crafting ter uh, terminal two mod. Uh, this is uh, a very handy thing and it's also a bobble as you can see so all I have to do is hit semicolon and I, I bound it to semicolon I don't know what the default is and I can access my ME terminal at any time or my ME system at any time. It was really simple to do I just have this ME wireless access point and my security terminal once I crafted the uh, once I crafted the terminal I had to bind it to myself and then put the wireless crafting terminal here and bam only I can use it or anybody else if this wasn't a single player world that I deemed but now that I have that I can craft anything I want on the go so I'm going to make a bunch of inscription tiles after I make some paper alright so I have completed up to tier 2 of each uh, of each thing so um, yeah, let's put my inscription tiles back. Reget another bucket of water. Awesome. So now that we have that, now we can make all of the obscure crystals. Uh, I really hope that this automation of Lordcraft is actually worth it. Because... Oh man, this is such a grind. It's just a painful, painful grind. And I'm probably going to need more uh, of that mana dust anyway. So, here we go. 
Now that I have each of the complex crystals, I just need the translocation matrix, which I made in between episodes for a quest. And quite frankly, I couldn't figure out how it worked. So <laughs> I, uh, I'm probably not going to use it anyway. But boom, now I have my ascension matrix. Let's plop it down. <sighs> oh, hello. I am in a place called the Nexus. Okay. Cool. Oh, hang on. I am primarily dark, so... Lordic grass. This is a really nice shade. Nice blue stone. Hmm. <laughs> well, uh, okay, so I'm glad that we... Uh, I'm glad that I was hitting the record button when I hit that. So what is in here? Lordic Summoner? Huh. I'm going to do a little bit more reading. So I figured since I was uh, attuned to dark and wearing dark armor, that uh, the dark Lordic Summoner would work. Uh, all I did was went to the other pedestals and right-clicked the uh, this little summoning thing, and they showed up. But none of the overlords trust me, except for the water guy right now. So let's do this quest. Greetings, Cellos. I'll give you a test to prove yourself. Return here once you are done, and I shall reward you with your first spell. It shall be done. So what is his quest? Slay spiders. I get two damp crystals, water XP 5, and spell focus 1. Alright, so let's go slay some spiders. And nowhere can you find more mobs than the mob dimension. Spider gone, and spider gone. Kill one more for good measure. So hopefully that does the trick. Huh. So I have completed the quest, hopefully. Yep. Two of two. Showing task. Ask about quest. Hand in a quest. Awesome. And now that I know that this is a woman, uh, I'm not changing the voice. She's still going to have that voice I gave her before. <laughs> Hand in a quest. Thank you. Get a new quest. Slay zombies. Oh, uh, this is gonna be fun. Uh, I swear, if these are all just go kill a... Uh... There we go. I'm now her apprentice. You're not eligible to learn your first water spell from me. I've given you your spell focus already. With that in your hand, you should be able to... Oh, I didn't give her the voice. With that in hand, you shall be able to use your internal energy to heal yourself. It can even heal others as an alternate effect. Use it wisely. I shall. But wait, fellows, there is more. <laughs> more? Indeed, there is more. I have a special task for you. Oh, there's supposed to be a period there. I have a special task for you since you have proven yourself. I would like you to use your spell a number of times, but you must make sure that you only count the times in which it actually has effect. When you or another is hurt. It shall be done. Cool. So let's make this spell. But how do I focus it? So I have this spell focus. Yeah, that's cool. Do I have to charge it with damp crystals? Nope. Huh. Oh, let's go get hurt. Alright, so I'm letting the zombie hurt me. Oh, I have a lot of hearts. <laughs> let's take my hearts off. There we go. Hurt me, dog. Hurt me more. The heck? Alright, it's been a while. Why am I not taking damage? Is it my saturation? It's my saturation. You know what? It might be my resistance as well. Alright. Now that that's gone. Hurt me more, dog. Oh, hello. What are you? <laughs> He's awesome looking. There we go. Okay, I'm hurt.
Is it working? Hmm. Yep, spells one. All right, let's get hurt one more time. All right, cool. It is not hurting me. I believe I need to, let's go home for a sec. So I have no water in my uh, void interface right now. Now I have 3,000 water in my void interface. Yep, there we go. That worked. And how much did that take from me? None. Hmm. Well, let's try this one more time. Yeah, hurt me. Really? Oh, wait. I thought this was a heal spell, but it's a resistance spell? Wow, this is a confusing mod. I need some bread. There we go. Nope, it's not healing me. Huh. Yeah, it's providing resistance to me. But I thought it was supposed to be healing. It's not using mana. But you can see the little blue particle effects. And, huh, yeah, regeneration three now. No, it's not regenerate, well. Yeah, so it is a healing spell. Cool, all right, well. Uh, that was kind of annoying. Let's go see how many times I have to use this for the uh, quest to complete. Cast rejuvenation 30 to 50 times? Oh my word. I'm beginning to think that there's something wrong with this, so I do not have... Wait. Saturation should be off. So, I'm a little bugged right now, because I still have saturation despite the ability token being gone. And whenever I use my regeneration, it says I have regeneration 3, but I'm not regaining any hearts. Huh. I wonder if it's just because I swapped dimensions. Oh, that's a little weird. I need to have full, I need to have full haunches of meat in order for the regeneration to take effect. So I ate enough just to get me to this point. And then it, uh, after I was full, I was still missing like two and a half hearts and used regeneration and it worked perfectly fine. Well, in any case, let's see how, uh, whether or not this Overlord of Water is happy with me. Ugh, two more times. <laughs> One, two. Alright, good, I can't cheese it. Well, not good, but... The Lordcraft grind continues. Alright, so now I'll demonstrate. I'm gonna get myself up to, uh, full haunches. So I get that little bit of regeneration. All right, it stopped. And what the heck? That's super weird. Regardless, that should be the last time that I needed to use it. And I should be good with this quest. So let's head back to uh, the Lordcraft realm. Awesome, so the quest is completed. Hand in the quest. Here are my rewards. Thank you. Get a new quest. My new assignment is one glowstone dust. Oh, be still my beating heart. <laughs> Hand in the quest. New quest. Four spiders? Are you kidding me? Three... And four. Oh, please be the last one. I'm pleased you continue your training of said another it's called Whirlpool. It entraps and confuses targets in a radius of where I am looking. 
cast Whirlpool 50 times? Jiminy Cricket. Cool, so let's see how this works. I have Whirlpool selected by holding Shift and then using my scroll bar. And uh, there's a little, oh, there's a little purple dot on that sheep. Oh wow, it's actually like a cone. Cool. However, I don't think it's gonna do us any good. Let's find some Zombos since they're actually hostile to me. Here we go. What's up, Zombos? Really? Come on. There we go. Oh, it's just, it's just like a slowness effect. Alright, cool. I like that. Oh. There's a cooldown to when I can use it as well. You stupid golem! But yeah, Whirlpool is actually kind of cool. Making everything slow for me. But I have to use it 50 times. Uh, it might not, it's weird to me that I'm not using any sort of uh, mana for these spells. And that should be 50. So let's head back to the uh, let's head back to the Nexus. Yep, that's 50. So ask about quest, hand in the quest. Here are my rewards. Thank you. Get a new quest. Four mana infused shards. Mana and few shards are no problem. I have 24 here. 1, 2, 3, 4. Back into the Nexus. So I've just been completing all of the level 2 quests for uh, the Water Lord here. And uh, I think I just leveled up again. Cast Orb of Water. So yeah, they just gave me a new... Uh... What does Orb of Water do? It didn't actually say. I also noticed something looking through the uh, book here, but every time I complete a new level, I'm getting a new ability as well. So vision is enabled, gives the player night vision when in water. So it seems like all of these passive skills are uh, the player aqua affinity at all times, food regenerates when the player's in water or rain. That's actually really handy. But yeah, I'm getting all of these uh, abilities every time I level up. But well, let's go cast this orb of water and see what happens. Oh, it does damage. What the heck just hit me? Oh, something invisible right now. Oh, and it's quite a long range too. It's like instant damage from excellent range. Oh, but it has to be unarmored to damage. Hmm. <laughs> I'm happy with that. Oh, it's AoE too. Oh, that's beautiful. I'm having a lot of fun with this. <laughs> I love the AoE. Yeah, this is uh, definitely the most fun spell they've given me so far. Alright, so I'm going to hand in the Orb of Water quest. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to keep going until I'm level 4. So I probably should have paid a little bit more attention, but uh, I unlocked Void Power, which was the whole reason I came here in the first place. Because I need to make those Void Crystals. Or Pure Crystals, rather. And the Pure Crystals uh, require Void Power research. So I am going to get on that. Oh, that is so expensive. And... come on. There we go, 24. So I only wanted 24 of these right now, because I just... I want eight pure crystals. And just eight. Uh, here it is. The reason why I only want eight is because I'm going to get this Arcane Forge upgraded and automated because I'm sick of just looking at the interface and pressing a button. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And here we go. Eight pure crystals. And with these eight pure crystals, I just have to surround the uh, advanced Arcane Forge. Oh, the Astral Tome is made with them? Hmm. But just surround the uh, Advanced Arcane Forge, and I have the Void Forge. So let's pick this up. Advanced Arcane Forge. 
pure crystals. What the heck? <laughs> no, no, no. Requires void power research. Void power completed. No. <laughs> Am I missing something? <laughs> so I'm thinking that in, co in order to craft the void forge, I actually have to, uh, yep, there's the void workbench. So just like everything else, uh, see how this is, this text is orange. It means that it has to be crafted on the void workbench, which is whatever. That's okay. But now I just need to craft more pure crystals. All right. Made more void catalysts. Ugh. Oh, gonna need the forge again. And now that that's out of the way, I can finally make more pure crystals. All right, pure crystals. Ugh. Pure crystals. And combine those with the uh, arcane forge, and I have the void forge. Finally, the void forge. Oh, and then I put the void crystal in here. Hmm. What's the purpose? What's different? Apparently, it is not enough just to have the uh, Void Forge. You also have to uh, make sure you have an Ar Advanced Arcane Forge as well to make the uh, the next steps in these in this quest. So the Void Eye and a Mana Infused Gem makes this Void Crystal, which stores mana. And uh, I'm going to make this Mana Infused Gem and get right back to it. So I have made my void crystal, and uh, the book made it seem like, so cool, that's awesome, made it seem like whenever I complete a quest for one of the overlords, then it'll fill up my void crystal with mana. So, that's how you uh, fill up the void crystal. Don't have a quest, get a new quest. Glowstone dust, oh, these are the easy ones. Hmm, apparently not, because I just completed a quest and it gave me no mana. That's not it either. Well, I didn't have 40 before I turned in that spider quest, and now I do, but I just completed the... Glowstone quest, and it didn't give me anything. So let's go slay some skeletons. And uh, if the skeleton quest gives me mana, then it's slaying quests that do it. Or I'm going to assume that that's the case. Alright, so I just killed all those zombies. Stored mana, 40. Quest. Zombies complete. Hand in. Nope, stored mana, 40. Wait, what did that just say? Insufficient mana? Maybe 40 is the maximum that this void crystal can hold. But if I put that in here... And let's take some simple crystals. Alright, so I have my 40. Oh yeah, look at that. I just put it in and it immediately starts to go. It's rather slow, but let's see how much mana it uses. Oh, it didn't use any. Hmm. I'm going to craft through all 32 of these and see whether or not it uses any of that mana. Alright, so I just finished crafting the complex crystals and I still have 40 stored mana so I'm willing to bet that this is always going to be at 40 and uh, I'm they wants me to make multiple void forges since all I have to do and fill up multiple void crystals in order to automate everything that an arcane forge can do and uh, I'm actually I'm gonna do that a little bit later for now, I want to uh, head back to the Nexus and check and see whether or not I can do any of the other quests. Okay, so I can do his quests. I can do her quests. And who's Fire Guy? I cannot do the fire quests. And Light and Dark haven't even shown up yet. So I am in the middle of completing the air and earth quests as well as some more of the water quests. 
And uh, I think I just got level 1 for Earth, which means I'm about to get level 1 Earth spells. And I uh, can't wait to see what that is. Stone shot. Fire a stone projectile in the direction I'm facing. Use it well. Cool. Unable to cast a spell here. Nice. And then... Slay zombie. Yep. So I have been doing the uh, Earth and Air quests. And I am loving <laughs> the air spell it's given me right now. <laughs> Whoop. And like the other ones, it's also a uh, AOE, so check this out. Let's get them all grouped together. Where are you going? And whoop! <laughs> I love it. And uh, then we have Stone Shot. Oh, that is slow. That's yeah, kind of powerful, though. Oh, it is taking out. It like does a little mining thing too. Interesting. Huh. That's very weird. I've taken a break from the uh, from the Lordcraft questing just to see how I can actually get this Void Forge automated. So the insert for the Void Forge actually comes in on the left side uh, for the top half of this. If you want to use the furnace mode of the Void Forge, what you need to do is uh, insert into the top. So any item that goes into the top will go into your furnace input. And then your furnace output will be right here on this side. It is all very confusing. Uh, however, if you're using the Void Forge, you're probably more than likely not using it in furnace mode. You're using it in Void Forge mode. So the insert is on the left side, and then down here on the bottom is where your output is. Um, oh yeah, and... I have a new ability that's very annoying and can't turn off. Uh, if somebody does know how to turn it off, please tell me, but in my passive skills for completing the uh, air quest, I now have step assist. Permanent step assist, which is probably my least favorite aspect of uh, any Minecraft. So, if somebody knows how to turn that off, please tell me. But the output for the Void Forge is down here at the bottom. And the more void forges you have, I'm uh, making this mana infused dust right now. And what I'm going to do is uh, make another void forge and move this mana infused dust into it so I can make the mana shards as well. When it comes to two part uh, recipes, I don't know what to do. For instance, there's the simple crystal recipe, which is diamonds and redstone. And uh, I think I just have to keep a constant supply in here. So that if I throw diamonds and simple crystals in, it'll always keep this slot. But I don't know how to lock this slot. In fact, I'm not even sure if you can lock this slot. So, uh, yeah, any recipe that requires multiple inputs, don't know how that's going to work. I'm sure we'll figure it out once we get there. So it seems I was mistaken. Uh, it doesn't matter which side, it, or the left or the right. Um, so long as the input is on the side then it will insert into the Void Forge input slots. The uh, output is still the bottom, unfortunately, but that's just the way it is. Uh, it will still prioritize the left slot over the right slot, so I still haven't solved the issue of uh, multiple input um, recipes. But for that, if I, I don't think I'll ever have to really mass produce a lot of that stuff. I'm more worried about getting the shards. Uh, once I have the shards, I'll just use my advanced forge over here to craft up the necessary materials. So I just unlocked the uh, the second set of spells for earth and wind. Oh, it's not... there it is. So yeah, I... It's like an AoE little cutter thing. It's not very powerful, I'm not really a big fan of it. But the fun one... It's the scatter shot. <laughs> it's so weird to look at it. It just keeps going. So I'm uh, leveling up my spells right now. And uh, apparently, uh, the John Cena creepers are in here. Uh, rarer than they were in Project Ozone 2. I managed to kill him before he exploded. I don't, I don't want to know the size of that explosion. But yeah, I'm just killing creepers right now to... 
complete these quests and wow this is taking a while there we go that should be my last guy so I have up to level 4 spells and level 5 and the uh, water spells uh, for all of the overlords that exist right now but the overlord of fire will not unlock I do not know why um, looking at the curse forge page Apparently the overlords aren't even done yet, which may explain why uh, light and dark aren't here. But still, it's a... Uh, there needs to be a note or something somewhere inside the quest book other than may learn more in the Lordcraft knowledge book, stating that this is not a complete mod. I mean, why is it even in the pack if it's not complete? And, uh, yeah, so I'm a little disappointed. I don't think I can complete uh, Lordcraft. I could keep trying to unlock all of the passive skills, which, with the exception of Step Assist, are all pretty cool. Like, my uh, attack speed, my reach, all of that is passively boosted now because of Lordcraft, and I'm happy with that. But, uh, yeah, I think I'm done with Lordcraft. And even though I say that, I am still going to, uh, try to complete everything except for... Oh, wow, that's actually a really nice looking block. I'm going to try to complete everything except for the Overlord's progression. Like, uh, I've managed to complete three of the armor sets. The uh, Dark, Water, and Light. So, I am mass crafting mana-infused shards right now. So, I am going to have more than enough mana-infused shards because they're required for dang near everything that I need in order to progress. Mainly, the fabric to create the armor these uh, mana infused gems for um oh wow they're even needed for ultimate crafting <laughs> so yeah i'm going to continue making all of this mana infused stuff because it is required for progression down the line in project ozone but uh yeah i'm just completing it just for completion's sake at this point another thing i've read on the project ozone reddit is uh, transmutation so transmutation works exactly like uh, like project E so instead of using an EMC value though I'm using the system in place for uh, that Lordcraft provides uh, apparently this has been disabled in project ozone so I will not be going into transmutation you see I already created the transmutation table here and it wasn't doing anything for me I put the book in the transmutation book and it wouldn't let me take it out which is why I looked at it in the first place. Um, and yeah, so the book can't be removed because transmutation is just straight up disabled in Project Ozone uh, so that you're forced to use Project E instead. So if I'm going for the completion, the next thing I'm going to be making is a staff. So I have made these exotic amplification rods which are required for the staff. All the reason I created the staff, uh, in the staff crafter in the first place. But I could also use simple which is just sticks right like this or uh, dark oak wood uh, you could also make the exotic amplification rod by using spruce acacia or jungle and then three simple amplifications in a row but since I uh, I use dark oak I'm not uh, noticing that so I made a bunch of simple and then just turned them into exotic amplification then if you go to any one of your forges and then craft it up I'm going to get the infused amplification rod which is apparently better and then with that infused amplification rod actually that goes in the bottom and then mana infused ingot and then one of my crystals assemble the staff why can I not assemble the staff hmm let's try the regular crystal there we go so I can assemble that one just fine but I can't assemble the complex. The complex staves, staves rather, require tier two fire research. Okay, but I have tier, I have tier two water research. This means I have tier two water research. This mod has. N mm. I'm not gonna get frustrated. <laughs> Oh, that's why. It requires 32 mana infused. Alright. Well then, I'm not making the complex. However, this water staff... Ooh, that's nice. 
No idea what it does. <laughs> oh, okay. It's just a long-range weapon. And wow, what a long-range weapon it is. But is it using any mana when I use it? So I have 3,800 water mana. I kill this cow. I have 3,200 water mana. So every time that I use this staff to attack something, I'm using mana inside my void interface. That is good to know. And also makes this effectively useless. <laughs> the last thing that I'm going to do in this episode is... Oh, wow, that was pretty stupid of me. <laughs> the last thing I'm going to do in this episode is create the last remaining... Uh, here we go. Fire. 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 The last remaining armor sets that I don't have. And then I'm going to leave Lordcraft alone unless I need some of the materials later on. Uh, sick of playing around with it, sick of getting frustrated with it. And you know, it really is a very good mod. Oh, I actually really like that. That orange really pops on that. And it's, yeah, it's not a bad mod whatsoever. I mean, those uh, staves that I was just using, um, that's super powerful. And if I was wearing, I was using the water staff, so if I was wearing the water armor, then uh, I wouldn't have been using nearly as much mana whenever I was using that staff. It was powerful. I have amazing passive skills now, except for step assist. And uh, if you look down on the lower right hand corner of the screen, this armor has zero durability. It doesn't, it's completely unbreakable and provides a decent armor stat to me. Um, yeah, it's by no means a bad mod, it just it suffers from bad documentation. So now that I have gone through pretty much the entirety of it, um, or attempted to go through the entirety of it with transmutation, I'm going to, uh, yeah, I'm going to make a mod spotlight of it. But with that, I am Kelly Engineering, and uh, I hope that you enjoyed this episode. Uh, hopefully it was very informative to for a mod that not a lot of people know about. And, and uh, next episode, I'm actually going to be getting into the void and building up everything and showing how I set up my uh, all of my farming stuff in the void. But I am Kelly Engineering. Hope you enjoyed the episode and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.